What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ready or Not because they just came out with another development update. This one is called Briefing 37 Coyote. Brought to us again by the very generous Kaminsky, who is a part of the community management team at Void Interactive. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. It starts off with saying, Attention officer, welcome to the 37th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This week we'll be showing an in-depth first look at our new map, Coyote, or Coyote, however you want to say it. Still in the very early stages of development, our newest level will take players into claustrophobic halls chiseled out of the hot desert along the border. Interesting. We can't wait to see how players handle the tight corners and hidden enemies. I don't imagine it's going to be uh, easy, especially in tight corners like that. But anyways, the Freedom Path. Three teams, Vortac, HRT, SWAT, have been pulled together on a cold night to stop the exfiltration of key members of the Los Locos gang into Mexico through underground tunnels. Vortac? That sounds new. What's Vortac? Border Patrol? I wonder? Border Patrol Tactical Unit Bortec. Oh, okay. Bortec agents are regarded as one of the nation's most highly trained special operators, developing a reputation as a leading law enforcement tactical unit, according to the CBP. The team's mission is simple, to respond to terrorist threats, both nationally and globally, to protect the United States homeland. Interesting. The first I've heard of them because I've never heard of a lot of these agencies like uh what was that other one the ATF I've never heard of those guys before I never realized that the United States had so many freaking agencies did they just feature a new skin the Border Patrol Tactical Unit Bortac I'd definitely like to see what that uniform would look like if it's actually being featured here but anyways little do they know what awaits them mere feet below the ground a small tunnel lies below the property leading deep below the loose surface once open the loud steel doors gives away your presence within the tunnel erasing the element of surprise and we got our first picture here this is i'm assuming the entrance i guess this looks like some sort of an abandoned mine shaft or something i can't really tell if they dug it out or if they actually made a mine but we got some uh etchings on a sign just above the door there underneath the picture it says the sign reads deja toda esperanza los que entras meaning leave all hope ye who enter it's a little different when it comes to Google. It says, give up all hope, you who enter. But either way, it's basically the same meaning. But anyways, moving on to the next thing here. The Coyote's Den. The tunnels are dark, wet, and narrow. There's no turning back when you enter. Nowhere to run or take cover. The suspects have the advantage over you. They know the layout with their eyes closed and can be hidden in plain sight. Every sound you make will carry, so we need to be especially careful. Underneath this, there's a picture, and it shows one of the tunnels, obviously. I like how it actually shows like a bunch of like dust that's just like flying around. Because I'd imagine there'd be like a bunch of dust in the tunnel. Makes me wonder if there's like ventilation down here this map kind of feels like it's straight out of zero hour but uh then again it probably isn't because i know at least uh two maps that have underground tunnels like this one being the barricaded meth house and Teresa farms where they have tunnels like this that seems to be a running theme in uh, ready or not we're going in and clearing out tunnels which i find very interesting but yeah underneath this it says if you're claustrophobic good luck the tunnels won't give you a second chance underneath that is another picture of what looks like to be a room and it looks like one of those old World War II rooms where you just see like a bunch of those metal plates everywhere. And also you got like some sort of wool blankets probably. They kind of look like they're wool. Bedrooms that are edged into the side kind of look like a freaking catacomb or something. The table right here, knife jabbed into it. Looks like a backpack right there. Or maybe that's a backpack and a shirt? Maybe? Not too sure. But this is probably where they store the people that they smuggle. Or maybe this is where the smugglers sleep. Who knows? Interesting little room. Underneath this it says, A bedroom, how thoughtful. I guess they do care about their people after all. Underneath this is another picture. What looks like a bunch of shovels that are sitting on the wall and uh, pickaxes along with hard helmets and some sort of blueprint? Is that a blueprint right there? Maybe that's a blueprint of the tunnel and where it's going? Not too sure, but this is clearly tools that people use to actually make this tunnel here. Must have taken ages unless uh, they are people that know how to actually dig tunnels. Which you'd be surprised. I've seen people dig really big tunnels within the span of an hour because they knew how to freaking do it. Probably go a lot faster if there was a lot more people involved. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. There's what looks like a hole to the right that's kind of like really bright. So either there's like a really bright light right there or maybe that's another opening. Not too sure. If this is on the border, I wonder if we could go into Mexico. But I mean, that would be illegal for federal government people to go into another country, is in my opinion. I'm not saying they haven't done that before, but it'll be interesting to see if we could actually work with the Mexican government to 
get them on their side, right? But anyways, the tunnels are lined with small rooms and dugouts. Even more space to hide. Moving on, the cave. Proceed with caution when approaching the hidden dock at the end of the tunnels. Where the water comes from and where it's going is a mystery. We need to find out what exactly they are transporting, where it's going, and who they got it from. Underneath this is a picture of what looks like some sort of like fantasy cave where they just have like a freaking... I mean, it's not very secretive, but there's a giant freaking hole right there. Like, couldn't you just drop in like dudes from like a rope or something? This actually looks more like a concept art than an actual map, but uh, looks pretty good. See a couple of guys here trying to transport something. I'm assuming either drugs or weapons. Like, that's the only thing that I could really think of. Maybe, or if this is on the border, then most likely people that want to get to the US because they couldn't get like a visa or something. I'm not too sure. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff on the other side of this river too. It's an interesting looking boat. It looks more like a barge than a boat. But anyways, underneath this picture it says, I guess there's light at the end of the tunnel. Literally. Hmm. Another picture underneath this showing another angle of it. This looks like the other end of the tunnel here, I assume. And it's showing a couple of guys that are moving away from it, trying to add something onto it. So wait, are they moving? I'm actually curious to know where this um this tunnel is because like is this in the in America or is this like going towards Mexico because this is supposed to be the other end of the tunnel and they're showing a couple of guys that are carrying boxes towards the boat so is this side America or is the other side America or maybe it's a tunnel that's just along the border are they smuggling stuff into Mexico I'm a bit confused is this like the Colorado River going underneath the land I wonder or what uh, I'm a bit curious to know where this goes because if this is the other end of the tunnel then this would be Mexico right Are they like moving stuff towards Mexico it's curious underneath this picture it says hope you brought a second pair of socks you might get what? Huh. We're gonna be going into the water? Are they gonna add swimming animations too? Or is it just like knee high? Hmm. Interesting. In conclusion, this concludes our 37th bi-weekly briefing taking our first look at one of Ready or Not's future levels, Coyote. Be sure to tune in for more development news. Keep your eyes on the ground, Void Interactive. Uh, another relatively small one here, but I'm not gonna lie, it actually seems like a pretty cool idea. It looks kind of plain though, not gonna lie, but it makes sense, right? Because you wouldn't have too much in a tunnel, right? Like, you just want to, like, move people back and forth. This is also probably, like, another way to smuggle people into the United States or smuggle people out, most likely. The Border patrols involved, that is. And, you know, their job is usually to be uh, stopping aliens and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on the update here? Let me know. It's a pretty interesting map. Definitely like to check it out. I'm seeing also a lot of freaking, like, black boxes. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's like the black bars that are on the top and bottom right here. Does that also mean that they're going to drop a little trailer for this? Probably, right? Makes sense. Tell me what you guys think down below, because I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video send a thank you in the comments if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover but with that all being said i want to thank everybody for going out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one but bye, -bye.